Hi, Hiram here. On my video canteen shop grill top stove stand, sterno can refilled with perlite, bluegrass bushcraft asked me, this may be a stupid question, but what is the purpose of perlite in the stove? Uh, I think this is a pretty good question, so I thought maybe I'd do a little video on it here today. Perlite is a type of volcanic glass that, uh, just like this, I don't know if you'd be able to see it there, but it's just a volcanic glass that uh, gardeners add to soil to help make the soil better, and people that are into hydroponics use it as a medium uh, to put the seeds and stuff in. So it's something that's cheap, and you can get it at garden centers and stuff all over. Even your big box stores like uh, Lowe's and all you know, all of those, you can buy it there. Uh, did I say it's cheap too? Mato Nupai kind of partially answered the question, saying that it's a wicking material. You might use like you would carbon fiber felt or felt fiber, whichever way you say it. What I've got here, I like to use first carbon felt if I'm doing a wick for a stove. Then I use perlite. I don't like to use uh, the stuff that everybody else uses is fiberglass insulation. If I put this into a stove and the alcohol burns down, most of the time this stuff kind of fuses and burns. So after maybe six or seven burns with it, it just isn't good. Then you end up having to take it out, fluff it up, and all that kind of stuff. I really don't like using this. But perlite, well, it depends on the stove that you're using. If it's something, or the burner rather, if it's something like this that's just a an open top can, you can use it in there. Now this is, I like these. These are cans that I got from a dollar store some time back. They were unscented candles that came in this nice tin, a nice little supply of wax. They were a buck each. I bought every, all of them that they had in the store, and then they stopped carrying it. So... I've only got a couple of these left, but these make an interesting little burner because you can also put like a ranger band on it to hold it closed and keep some of the alcohol in it. I wouldn't carry it with a lot of alcohol in it, but this is just like a roughest burner that you can get. So if you have it in a can just like that open, or if you have it in an open top burner like this, you don't have to worry so much. It's a safety thing. The alcohol isn't just going to burn, you know, roll out all over your tent and stuff. If I was to tip this right about there, it would start rolling out. But I can tip this just as much, if not more, and the alcohol doesn't come out because the perlite's holding it in place. So not only does it act as a wick, but it's also a safety type, safety issue type thing. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, also, both of these have about the same amount of alcohol in it, but on this one, without the perlite or any kind of a wick in it, it's only about this high. So when I light this, the flames will be down in the can. And you can see on this one how the edge is somewhat burned because the flame was on the inside of the can. This one's burned, been burned as many times, and its can is still unburned, so to speak. It keeps the heat on the top of the perlite instead of down in the can. Also, by this being wicking the perlite wicking it is pulling it up from the bottom of the can and the flames will be up here being boy it's a little too warm in here uh, it'll make for a nicer flame which I hope to be able to show you here so let's turn down the lights can light that now this you got to kind of there we go now I'm hoping you'll be able to see on this camera you get a nice pointed flame here this one's just kind of helter-skelter all over the place plus the flame is down in the burner itself so the perlite in this case helps bring it up to the surface the alcohol fumes up to the surface let's try getting a temperature reading here already this can without the perlite is up to about 125 degrees with the perlite it's running at about 94 degrees so it's a little bit cooler 
And there I think you can see this flame is just kind of flopping all over the place. And this one gives you a nice cone for hitting your... Now I just moved that around with my hand, but it gives you a nice little flame pattern. So that's one of the reasons. Now, another thing, perlite in my case, perlite over carbon felt. If you had a can something like this, where it's a smaller opening and you have all this area that you still want to put some sort of wicking in, this makes it real easy to just pour perlite in this rather than trying to roll up and stuff this with carbon felt. Also the perlite will be a whole lot cheaper than carbon felt. Okay, I guess that was about it. Was there anything else? No, that's about it. Safety, wicking, cheapness. Plus, it doesn't fuse or burn like the fiberglass insulation does. So I hope this helps bluegrass bushcraft with the question about what's the purpose of perlite. I thank Mato Nupai for his comment, you know, trying to answer uh, bluegrass bushcraft. Boy, that's a hard name. Bluegrass, bluegrass bushcraft. Hmm. Anyway, good name. Anyway, thank you both. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.